Hey guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you my grow space. It's been a while since I've shown you what I've done here and I'm in the middle of revamping everything. I added a rug here and I moved my storage unit somewhere else. So I want to show you what the grow space looks like and tell you a little bit more about my plans for this room. I am going to update a couple of things here. And it has been a while since you guys have seen it. So I'm going to walk you through how everything looks, where everything, where I put everything away, and just give you a little bit of updates ar along the way since you guys haven't seen this in a while. I've changed a bit in the last couple of months, mostly just moving my storage unit, which used to be on this wall. And I moved uh, this, um, this shelf to the same wall and I put all of my um, materials, my sphagnum moss, my bark, all that above and um, I'm going to walk you through everything. So first of all when you walk in I basically cleared that back wall because I'm going to add a desk there. I'm also thinking of adding some wallpaper to that wall, maybe a big picture frame or something like that but I'm gonna clear it up to make like a potting desk. I added this rug here just to um, make it look a little bit different, make it a little cozy here, but I'm planning on adding a desk back there. A nice, um, a nice size desk with a, with a comfy chair where I could put my plants and just do a little bit of repotting and stuff. And let me walk you through the shelves since it's been a while. So the, first, the top two shelves, I have my Hoyas here, and um, it's getting really hot in here because I don't have this room air conditioned, and um, they're starting to put in a big growth spurt, especially the Bella, which is to the left. In the back, we have the Hoya Kamenjiana. I got these just as small cuttings. I will link um, Yoshi's YouTube channel, Orchids by the Lake, down below so you can check him out, but he gifted me those cuttings. About a year and a half ago, and now look at how big they are. They were small cuttings, and wow, from last January to now, they're just enormous. And the coming Gianna in the back has bloomed. This one, I can't keep up with the watering as much, and unfortunately it blasts, but hopefully I'll get blooms one day. This one I got at a flower shop here. This one's the um, Hoya Macrophylla Albo Marginata. It's putting in a big, big big vine here with some leaves that are going to come in. I have my um, Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen in the back, which is blooming right now, and I'll show you that. Hoya Compacta, Hoya Retusa, and then my Croniana here. And then we, when we go down, I really got to organize these. I bought some String of Hop Pearls. Um, about a month and a half ago I got to repot them it's hard to keep up with the watering they're a little tricky they need more water than you think you treat them like a succulent but when they're in small pots like that they tend to dry out really fast so I have to water them like every two or three days so I will get them in a bigger pot together soon Hoya finlaysonii Hoya bilobata pachiclata obovata obovata um, variegated and a bunch of others. This is one of my philodendrons. This one I got from when I went to DR last year. I got a tiny, tiny cutting and now look how big it is. And that's just half the plant. More Hoyas here. My Carii right there. And a Lacunosa that I got from Justin over at Justin's Orchids. We swapped some plants. Then I have a couple of other random plants. Um, this one is a Cattleya dawiana that I got as a seedling a while back. So I'm going to keep it along with the one that I have currently growing from Michael. So that one's pushing out a big growth. We have some random small plants. My Jewel Orchid, my um, Delicatum right here. And then I think that uh, that one is dead back there, so i got to get rid of it. Um, my Sparkle, my Dendrobium Sparkle, my... Um, Miltonia sunset and then we have some random fowls down here that path has been giving me some trouble the leaves have been a little messed up but I need to repot it and it's just I don't know I've been having trouble with it but I will get it in another pot it's in like a chunky mix and I think I haven't been able to keep up with the watering but we got mostly fowls here 
And then moving over, we have some random um, higher light orchids. So I have, this is moderate light. So I grow these under the orchid hobbyist lights. These are moderate lights. I just have two, two strips of light per shelf. And these have three strips of light per shelf. So this is my Catlia side. So I have a Vanda back there, some of my other higher light dendrobiums, and then more Vandas. And all of these are gonna get repotted really soon. We got some Catlias in the mix as well. And then we have some stuff in semi-hydro. So I have this one as my Catlia a harem girl. This one is Schilleriana by um, Luteola, and we finally have a bud there, so that's exciting. Otherwise, my Facelis is here as well, which just finished blooming. I gotta get her repotted. And my Richard Mueller with uh, Mark Jones, which is always really nice to see. But these are all Catlias. I gotta really get them repotted very soon. We got a string of hearts here as well as another Catlia. So this one's the BLC YNA Leopard Chinghua. It's gonna give me three blooms for the first time. And this one is my Patanera. Um, which one is this one? This one is the Barana Beauty Barana. So that one's growing nicely. I, I did end up getting rid of my Dendrobium Monosmum, so there's a an empty space there that I'm gonna fill up soon. Um, I sent those over to Justin um, because he was looking for a purple anosmum and I was going to keep them but they're not my favorites um, so I sent it to someone who could appreciate it more. Pinguicula over here. There's my Pinguicula. And then we have some um, my um, Maxillary Tenifolia. Up on top I have just some random plants. I have cuttings of Hoyas that I'm getting rooted some big dendrobiums and I gotta get the light over to the other side so I'm gonna have more headroom here so I'm gonna move that over and move the other light over so I have a lot of um catacetums there I have to take care of them I know they look terrible but a lot of them are still weirdly dormant and just coming out of dormancy um I will be replacing that light but some of them are just waking up so I have to just clean up the old leaves and stuff um but yeah some of them need some work um getting down here this other shelf we have mostly phalaenopsis and paphiopetalums here you guys have seen this one from the bloom update last month a cutie my um that one back there is sweet memory it's facing the other way my path pinocchio which i repotted and giving me a lot of nice fans and then we have this one. This puff is gonna bloom for me for the first time in a while. And this one is Puffiopetalum. Let's see. Armenii white? Armeni. Armeni white. So that's gonna be a first time bloomer for me. A couple of cakeys here. Then we've got a couple more. We got some flowers that are a little dried up. This one is my um my Phalaenopsis LD Bears King, the one that I did a video on with the sphagnum moss. It's just growing so wildly just hanging so it's kind of annoying but it's beautiful and growing really well this is the one that i repotted in sphagnum moss and it's just growing away I gotta get rid of those dry flowers that's helo big shot helo sparkle one of my fowls has some cakeys in it as well and then we have a couple more fowls here this one's my first fall ever um, right here, and it was struggling in semi-hydro. I moved it to um, I moved it to organic, and now it's taking off again. But I've had this orchid for eight years. Um, it did struggle though. She is hot. What's up with this? Hello. She's just chilling there. Um, what else? What else? We just have other fowls here. Let's move on to the other shelf so you can see it. So moving on to the other shelf, we, I have mostly things in semi-hydro here. I really don't like this setup because this is like the traditional semi-hydro setup, deli container, holes on the bottom. I just find that the water reservoir doesn't last very long, but these are highlight um, orchid hobbyist lights. So th these are the high intensity ones. So I have two lights per shelf here. They grow really well. 
I do have a window there, but that window only lets in a very limited amount of light. It's south facing, but it's in between a bunch of buildings. So direct light only comes in here about an hour, two hours per day. So that really doesn't count. So everything here is being grown by LED lights. Currently, I have them running 12 hours a day. I normally increase the time, but I didn't this year. I will increase it um, probably this week, get, get it to 13 and then 14 hours. Just laziness on my part, but usually I like to increase the time that they get light. Really, really hot in here. Um, humidity is lower because the windows are closed for now, but I have the AC going in another room. I will open up the window though. There's no reason for that. I just didn't want the air from the outside to go, but I had it closed all day, so there was no air circulation in here, um, other than the fan, which of course I'm constantly running, but I turned it off for this video. Um, we don't have really, we don't have much going on here, no buds or anything like that, but I just really gotta get to repotting these. This one is a Wanagara Apple Blossom. So she is blooming and she's got two buds coming in in the back, one faded. This one looks like it's gonna bloom sequentially, very beautiful. And my Bolera Blue Ridge Sunset. Beautiful, still going, still smells like honeysuckle. The Vanda I just repotted. The Dawiana I just repotted. And um, we got a couple of other things here going on. This one is the um, the Richard Mueller hybrid that I got with the Dawiana from Michael. This one is the Labiata by the Richard Mueller by Labiata. Hopefully we get a bloom off that new growth. And yeah, these are mostly Cattleyas, just given these are highlight orchids, some Dendrobiums. Um, this one is the Dendrobium Glory Dark Joy. And then a Dendrobium back there. And you guys know this one. That one's constantly blooming. And then when we come down here, we just have some of my bigger pots. I kind of crowded them in there. We have my mounted Hippodamia. I need to keep on top of water in that. It has a spike. And then we've got my, another cross here. This one likes to bloom a lot. Yeah, I think there's gonna be some sheets coming in this month. A lot of things are growing really well. Not a ton of blooms for now, but a lot of sheets. And I think a lot of buds are gonna start poking through soon. I actually moved my storage unit into the closet here. So I have a couple of, I made some room here and I just put everything in here. So I have my pump sprayers there. That's how I normally water. I fill those up and I fill the pots up, but everything to do with my plants is here now. We have some more pots and stuff up there and just random stuff on the top, but this has helped me save some space. So that's what it looks like. Here's one of my catacetums. This is random, but I just wanted to show you. They're, they're late this year. I didn't really do well with them last year because I wasn't able to water as much. I never removed the old growth. So I never repotted them. I'm gonna keep them here, but this one will be ready for water soon. But they're just moving slow. So I kind of left them up there on that shelf. But you guys haven't seen this space in a while. I'm making changes. We got two shelves of Hoyas, more Hoyas up there, a lot of orchids everywhere. Um, so I just wanted to show you some of the differences, some of the changes that I made. There's always a little water fountain. I, it's empty now, but I normally let her drink water there and it kind of adds a little humidity to the room. Very little though, wishful thinking, I think. Um, but this is what everything looks like, guys. I have some room there. I don't know what I'm gonna put back there, but it has to be high light. So that, like I said, moderate light, three lights of regular orchid hobbyist lights, moderate light. And the other shelf is very high light. These are the uh, spike producers, just two lights per shelf. And I'm finding that the setup works well. The only thing is now that it's so hot, I'm gonna have to really stay on top of watering, probably get uh, three days three times a, a week water before I was able to get away with once a week in the winter. Um, not everything, but sometimes you have to do like the mounted orchids way more, but at least three times a week I have to come in here, especially the stuff in organic and I just pour some water in the pots. It takes me about half an hour in the morning. So it's not too bad as long as I stay on top of it, but flushing, now that's another beast that takes me much longer. 
Anyway, guys, a thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. I'll also share updates when I'm all done. Hopefully add some wallpaper to this side, add the desk, and then I'll do a full-on tour for you guys. So you guys will see all of this very soon. Bye, everyone.